Good afternoon from the Hearts at War project. Here's a uh, short video in a series looking at uh, some of the artifacts that uh, we have on display here at the Hearts at War exhibition. Um, and uh, just thought I'd run this uh, very next one by you. So what we have here is a 1916 pattern First World War German Stahlhelm or steel helmet. Um, particularly nice example here. As you can tell from this one, it has uh, received some battle damage, so um, obviously weren't in impenetrable. Um, it's quite likely that that would have been a, a piece of uh, a shrapnel ball or a piece of shell, something like that, that would have caused that damage. And I certainly wouldn't have wanted to be wearing it at the time. Um, this particular helmet is quite interesting. It's uh, a quick look around it. It's uh, long since lost its liner. But it is a very nice 1916 pattern, as you can see from the uh, chin strap lug there. And uh, you can also see the leftover of the uh, lozenge style camouflage that's uh, quite well known um, towards the end of the First World War. This was actually instituted, I believe, in July of 1918, um, in an order signed by uh, Ludendorff. And uh, each helmet that's been added with this uh, kind of applique camouflage has been um, done so individually, and so they're, they're fairly unique. Um, stories go that apparently it was a uh, the uh, finest artists in each battalion or regiment would actually be uh, um, asked to uh, complete this kind of camouflage but uh, a lovely piece of history very nice uh, iconic German helmet as you can see from the uh, from the front you can understand why it did occasionally get the nickname the Frankenstein helmet it's uh, in good condition and uh, very very nice so Pleased to uh, display this as part of the exhibition, and uh, there we are. Hope you enjoyed it.